And welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending June 26th, 2022. Uh, and we'll start with some weird anime news. I am sure a lot of anime fans wish they could relive their youth after watching their favorite high school set shows, right? But one Japanese fan has just been arrested for taking the dream a bit too far. So, be careful. A Shizuoka man has been given a two-year jail sentence for, for stealing about $600 worth of classroom equipment from local schools. $600 worth of what? Classroom equipment. Like, desks? <laughs> yes. Um, breaking into school after several schools after hours and hauling things back on his bike. Oh, wow. He managed to procure 15 desks. <sighs> As well as uniforms and AV equipment, hoping to recreate his youth in an anime aesthetic. In a 200 square foot apartment. What? <laughs> when asked why he had to steal the items rather than just finding or buying new ones, he said that the, the actual used school items would, quote, enhance the imagery of school life and club activities. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> It hurts. I respect. Um, I respect his commitment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, whoa. Man. Um, you know, at what point was there not, you know, the, the little angel or devil on one side going, bad idea? Just, just, it's, it's not the best idea. Just saying. Let's think this through. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, and here's the. the the obvious part where logic, you know, mm -hmm. is really not included in this. Um, <laughs> a few blocks away from me, there's actually a school supply place. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I walk the dogs around, I can see, and it's all kind of a back street. And I looked it up one point in time, and it was founded in like 1946. Oh, a guy wow. came back from World War II and made cool. a school supply place. Every once in a while, there's a giant dumpster. Mm -hmm. And when they cycle out desks, literally, School desks, like, kind of similar to the ones you'd see in an anime. Mm -hmm. Lockers, file cabinets, and yeah. stuff. The empty dumpster will show up, mm -hmm. and then I'll walk, like, the next week, and there will be desks and chairs and mm -hmm. things, like, sticking out of the dumpster. That yeah. The school <clears> supply <throat> place. Dark. Why did this person not dumpster? I mean, this is, Japan, I'm sure, has the same kind of thing yeah, where I'm they sure. cycle through stuff. Yeah. Like, ah. And here's the thing. <laughs> like, if he had gone back to his old high school, and was like stealing like specifically the stuff from when he went to school. I could understand that. Yeah. Right. It's wrong, but I, yes. I, I could get in that headspace. But just going to random schools. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine just being a student looking out the window and just going to see <laughs> some guy there going, huh? <laughs> or coming the next the, morning and be like, where's my gym is, uniform? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And, and the guy's just like looking in the window going, can I have that desk? Can, can I have that, please? Hand me the eraser. Just, right. just, just hand it out the window. <laughs> okay? It does sound like the beginning of an anime, I have to admit. Um, but yeah, it's Maybe this is all a, 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 uh, a attention-getting effort. Mm -hmm. For his anime. Ah, uh, yeah, it's viral marketing. Exactly. <laughs> They'll be showing All in jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the NHK <laughs> classroom. <laughs> yeah. um, what's also kind of interesting is that 15 desks, uniforms, and AV equipment is only $600. Like, that seems cheap for, for that much. Well, they're all used. That's true. Yeah. So it's, yeah. you know, used equipment. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, and uniforms. And two, and two years in jail? Yeah about how long it takes to make an anime true very true he um, needs to concentrate yeah exactly because <laughs> he's got to draw the thing mm. put it together yeah and show it to people it's true there you go yeah but i mean he's already got all the attention he needs and right. next place he goes yeah. he could be like hey i'm that guy yeah, I'm that like, oh my god <laughs> you're him be like here's my anime oh sweet <laughs> There is no such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> Any publicity is good publicity. Oh, there you go. To be clear, I do not condone the actions of this man. <laughs> yeah. um, well, obviously, obviously the Japanese your... uh, police don't either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you and... made an anime of your exploits. That's nice. Don't ever come back <laughs> again. And on the subject of people living out their anime-related fantasies in more acceptable ways, um, life-sized <laughs> waifu figures pop up in the, in the news from time to time. 
But the new sweepstakes from Rent a Girlfriend bring an added touch to just seeing Ooh. your favorite girl <clears throat> in real life. Jizuru Mizuhara recently won first place in a character popularity poll. And a life size figure of her is now ready to take special date photos with one lucky winner. Get this. Oh, boy. Entering with tickets found in the 30th and 31st issues of Weekly Shonen Magazine, one fan will get to have a date photo shoot with the figure in the Asakusa. Whoops. Um, uh, in the uh, Asakusa Hanayashiki Amusement Park, which is featured in the manga's story. Um, and the best part is. The park will be reserved for only them. <laughs> the winner and their life size girlfriend figurine during the session. God. Sadly, you probably will not be able to bring her on any of the rides. Rule, rule 34. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take her home? Well, here's the thing, though. Here, here's my question Are they going to get married in the Rose Garden? Ah, oh. Nice. Like, this figure can't be light. How do you get it around if you're the only person in the park? That's what I don't get. A flatbed dollar. Yeah, yeah, nothing, I guess. Nothing says romance like a flatbed uh, dollar. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want photos of that, of, of a guy hand carting an anime figurine around an amusement park. A 700 pound anime figurine. <laughs> Let's go on the Ferris wheel. Exactly. Oh, it's magical. Oh, so, so, so magical. Um, <laughs> Can you just um, imagine that they'll be like, okay, the park's yours for the next three hours. Here's your trolley. Here's your figurine. Go. Mm -hmm. Three hours, 30 minutes later, they're like, oh, we can't. <laughs> we, where, where, where's the guy? I, I don't know. We don't see him in the park videos and check the bushes. Why, why would we check? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. He yeah. tried to take it on the swan boat ride, and they're both like six feet underwater. <laughs> oh. He's, he just seen yeah. water to the <laughs> <laughs> oh What happened here? He died with a smile on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's awesome to win that. At the same time, I can't. I, it, there's I, there's going to be a I lot mean, of social criticism going on with well, that. Well, I was just thinking, I would probably not post that. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it, 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 here's the thing, though. Like, in fairness, you know, being able to take photos with a life size life size figure of a character that's cool. Yeah. Like, if I were a con, I could right. do that. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. right. Doing it in an iconic location, even better. Right. Like, I totally understand the appeal of that. Where like you're literally mm -hmm. in the place of the manga, you take the photos. But again, like, it, there's that. You know, there's it's some just, part it's of just it like... just feels a little too far. Yeah, it's just like that one little step beyond where they're just like, okay, we're going to do that, and everyone's just on board, like like you're saying, because all that is right. You know, that would be the iconic place, the blah, 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 blah. I mean, you have a photo shoot, and then someone says, and they get the park for, for the entire day. Wasn't there somebody in that room that said, <laughs> why? Yeah. Well, and in fairness, you know, would you want people walking past looking at you? That's why they have the little auditorium thing off to the side where you just have your meet and greet moment, and then everybody else gets on with their day. <laughs> um, I mean, I, 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 would, I would imagine, uh, unless they're, uh, you know, really enamored of this figure, that it's going to be pictures, pictures, pictures. Okay, you got the place for three hours. Wee! I'm going over on Space Mountain, and that's it. They're like they leave the figure behind right. in Space Mountain and just have and, fun. In fairness, like this is a significant. <clears throat> I mean, it's. It's not a huge park in terms of like space, but like there's a roller coaster, like there's a Ferris, there's a there's a carousel, like there's you know this is a, it's, it's a full it's a it's a, a full featured amusement park, right? So like, I'm just having there. visions of the figurine falling out of the Ferris wheel, and like, <laughs> going, no! I'm sorry. Oh, hey, man, why is he saying I'm sorry? Yeah. <laughs> um, now speaking of anime to life. For custom <clears throat> fans who have dreamed of using an iconic weapon from this series, but perhaps without all the real destruction, a solution has arrived. The beam <laughs> rifle is getting a human life-size toy version in Japan, but rather than beams, it'll shoot rubber bands. So, less Put your eye out, kids. Um, it can shoot four rubber bands without re before needing a reload. It'll also come with targets, featuring, of course, a red Zaku and the Zeong. Um, a premium Bondi will begin selling the toy in early July for 935 yen, or just about seven bucks. Huh. Interesting. 
So, I mean, why not? You know, fun little toy gun. Um, when you said you. when you said a life size beam rifle, all I could think of was like, is that thing like thirty <laughs> <miles long? laughs> or something? Like life size, as in human size, not like <laughs> yeah. Well, when you said human size, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Just the thinking, wow, this tonnage. is <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a life size Chizuru from from exactly. Rent a Girlfriend, mm-hmm. sure, a thirty yeah. foot long beam rifle, sure. Mm-hmm. Everything's yeah. crazy. Let's just do nut, 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 nutty things. The rubber bands are ginormous. Here's here's, yeah. your, here's your beam rifle. Have fun in the park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rubber bands are actually like the big belts from conveyors. Yeah. <laughs> so boy, <laughs> that thing's destructive as hell. What do you mean it's not going to hurt anybody? You see that kid's face? Jeez, just um, took out a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> uh boy. Um, let us move on to some anime announcements. What are my favorite mm-hmm. things to talk about? Um. Psy Games and PA Works revealed this week they're producing a new original TV anime series called Akiba Made War. Ooh. The show will follow Nagomi, a woman who moved to Tokyo with dreams of becoming a cute Akihabara maid like no one. Um, and Ronko, a <coughs> former maid who's been away for a long time, coming back. Um, no idea where that's going, but it sounds cute. Um, <laughs> A TV anime is in the works based on the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague manga. Uh, described as a mm-hmm. workplace fantasy romantic comedy uh, revolving around a Yuki Ona uh, who tends to summon ice and snow when he's agitated, a, a male one. Um, and the secret object of his affections, an aloof co worker who is completely oblivious to every, everything around her. So, <coughs> cool in a different way. Hmm. Um, Interesting. So, that sounds like fun. Um, the cute Tanuki is not at ease either. Manga is getting an anime on YouTube on July twenty third. It follows an angry Tanuki named Ponkichi who comes down from the mountain to attack humans. Um, probably. Can we see this? <laughs> on Poco. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little. Um, production company Cyber Group Studios has announced a partnership with Nippon Animation to co-produce an animated film. Based on a 1994 original World Masterpiece Theater anime series called Tico of the Seven Seas, or Tico of the <laughs> Friends in the English dub. Um, for those not familiar, World Masterpiece Theater traditionally uh, were anime adaptations of classic children's literature. Uh, right. This is an original story of theirs. Uh, the film will be called Nanami and the Quest for Atlantis. It will follow the original series characters a few years later, exploring the relationships between humans and in nature. Which huh. Does sound very well, Masterpiece Theater. This will be the first project in this partnership. Uh, we also play new joint productions as well as reboots of other Nippon Animation Classic series. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I still can't get beyond World Masterpiece. I don't think it's Alistair Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to <laughs> Masterpiece <laughs> Theater. Um, well, I'm I'm still stuck on the Tanuki one, the angry <laughs> Tanuki, because I'm like I'm like God, I need to make another punk band, and that needs to be the name, the angry Tanuki. The angry, angry Tanuki, tanuki. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Shogaku Khan also announced an upcoming anime film for next spring, based on the romance fantasy, fantasy uh, manga Kinokuni Mitsu no Kuni, or Land of Gold, Land of Water. Uh, mm. It's set in two rival kingdoms that have long been at odds. A princess and a young man from opposite countries meet by chance and find that they must act as a couple to maintain the peace of their realm. But unsurprisingly, they slowly fall for each other along the way. Never have I seen such a plot. I know. So original. Uh, hopefully it's fun. Horizon Beyond the Blue. Moon Kingdom, Earth Kingdom. They get married. Earth and Moon don't go to war. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I've okay. seen this, done that. Okay. Um... Day Day Live and Kaguya Sama Love is War, both announced a new upcoming series this week. Um, Day Day Live 5 and a uh, new anime series for Kaguya Sama will be coming. Um, uh, let's see here. And then moving on to just sort of general anime news. Um, this week brings another piece of news in the manga industry around um, unions. Publisher Seven Seas has officially agreed to voluntarily recognize the union formed by its employees last month. Um, they, they released a statement back on May 28th stating that they would not voluntarily recognize the union uh, until there was a, an election conducted by the National Labor Relations Board. Um, but after a few weeks and a great deal of commentary from fans on the internet, 
The company released another statement yesterday stating that to work together in good faith for the sake of our staff, creators, partners, and fans, they would waive the election in favor of voluntarily recognizing the union. Oh, okay. Um, to celebrate the 20, 25th anniversary of the Digimon franchise. Yeah, 25 years old. Wow. Um, Bandai has announced an exhibition event. Ben Walker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, um, an exhibition event will be coming to Bell Sal Akihabara on the weekend of July 29th. Um, the Digital Monsters 25th Anniversary Exhibition Digimon Museum. Clear name. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll look back at the history of the, of the franchise from its roots as a fighting Tamagotchi LCD toy to the animated series and video games. Also, be a meet and greet event with Digimon and other monsters. Real Digimon? They actually yes. created real. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. The Digiverse has come yes. together. Good. So did you know Digimon was a documentary? Wow. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, there'll be a guide to the most on it and stuff. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Um, also, on the subject of classic toy franchises, two giants announced a surprise crossover collaboration at last weekend's Tokyo Toy Show. Um, um, Bandai Spirits and Takara Tomi. Um, I actually have an image here which I need to find again. There it is. Um, uh, they will team up to make toys from each other's signature mecha franchises. So, Bandai and Takara Tomi. Bandai Spirits will recreate the Liger Zero from Zoids under his Chogokin line, hmm. while Takara Tomi will recreate the White Base from Ozud Gundam oh. wow. as a Zoid. Um, what? <laughs> yep. Oops, I got the wrong thing there. Hold on, hold on. Why is that not doing the thing? I'm on the wrong thing. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, there, there is now a um, Atomica Zoid white base, because why not? Wow. Um, okay. A video was released introducing the various aspects of the different toy designs, which will go on sale sometime in 2023. Cool. Like, why not just throw some different designs together and see what they would look like, um, and uh, you know, create some crossover toys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How how much lacquer or or sealant would that white base Zoid need to become a hood ornament mm. <laughs> for a a certain band? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, how would you? How would you make that uh, UV resistant? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. One of the questions I've been asking myself a lot lately is, how much do I want to invest and how much do I want to just let it go? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to disintegrate in five years. It's whatever. Bonk. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, and granted, that, you know, that said, you put a white base as the ornament on the band. Yeah. Come on. That's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. We will see you all <clears throat> next week.